Well, hey guys, I know a lot of folks been asking for plan ID vids, and I uh, been finding these for years. Uh, never was too sure about eating them, but it's the ostrich fern or fiddleheads, and I'm going to show you how to identify them. <laughs> this is an easy way to spot them. You'll see these old fronds from the previous year. They stand. Right here. And then if you look down in there, you'll find the tightly bunched up fiddleheads. I've got one right here in my hand. I'll be turning the light a little better. Now, there are different types of fiddlehead ferns that will look similar. The easy way to identify the edible one is by the groove, a U-shaped groove in the stem. You see the brown husk that flakes off. And the stem is not overly fuzzy. I mean, if you really look close, there's a very light fuzz on there that will rub right off. But they're relatively shiny and tightly bunched up like this. And they usually grow in lower areas, but I've actually found them all over throughout the woods. I guess it just depends on your area. But that's the fiddlehead fern ostrich fern the botanical name is something that i can't pronounce mataluca something or other um i'll probably put it in the description maybe maybe not but that's the edible fiddlehead fern that you find in the springtime around the same time that you'd be hunting morel mushrooms it's supposed to be a really good edible, and I think I may actually gather some up, take them home, and try them out. I've heard they taste like broccoli, asparagus, something or other, but it's a long time edible. Native Americans used to eat them. Fiddlehead fern, I'm going to take you in and uh, give you some close-ups of the plant itself, if possible. Here you go. Again, there's the fronds. You'll see those. They'll stand up for a year or so. So you can even find them out of season and then come back in the spring and locate the young edible fronds. But here you can see. Now if you look, hopefully you can see it. But there's sort of like a white fuzz on there. But see how it just kind of wipes off? and It'll turn like a dark, shiny green. But they're all tightly bunched up here in a mass I'll pick one out and see it's got that brown husk on it that comes right off take them home wash them up and uh, cook them however you like now here's some that are starting to unfurl more you can see the fern leaves starting to fan out and if you take them, you can actually unroll them. And you'll see that brown husk falling off. Here's more of the brown husk. So U-shaped groove in the stem. Not overly fuzzy. And tightly packed. Sort of a shiny green. And they tend to grow in low areas. Similar habitat to what you would find morel mushrooms. But you can see they're all over throughout here. And I'm just... Standing at the edge of an open field here. Um, so that's it. Ostrich fern, fiddlehead fern. Just make sure you have the right one. Make sure it has that groove in the stem. And make sure it uh, isn't overly fuzzy. Thanks for watching.